vulnerability. What's up, Bean Dip? This is Sober to Sauce. I'm Nico Cervantes. I am Samuel Sly. The show where we pair beer and food in ways you've never dreamed of or imagined before, ever <laughs> in your life. It is the morn. It, and yes, that means breakfast. It can only mean breakfast. These, and uh, these, these, these sleepy crusties in our eyeballs, they're real. Those are not added in post. Today, avocado toast. Mushrooms with country ham, sweet potato hash, and I'm terrified to try to make this souffle pancakes. If a pancake was crossed with a marshmallow, yeah, and just had the thickest ass, yeah, oh yeah, just a big old dumper on it. Yeah, oh well, Sam, what are we drinking today? <laughs> <laughs> I actually know this if one. If there's one, you should know. If there's one, I should, should know. Be it. This is the one. Today we're having the Imperial Java Stout from Santa Fe Brewing Company. This is a, not a new beer to me, and I believe you've said you've had this before. Oh yeah, staple. This is like the best bargain by Imperial Stout you can ever get in my opinion. They're very, very deliciously coffeed up, and they're just a nice, thick, robust Imperial Stout. This is coffee stout time, and I think it's also sweet, sweet crack time. Nothing like some crack in the morning, am I right? Here's to a lovely breakfast. Lovely breakfast. Most important meal of the day. Oh, it smells good. I actually haven't had this in a very long time. Well, we'll see you back here in a few with some aprons and some, some food stuffs. You need to learn how to make a sweet potato hash. And to do that, we're gonna take sweet potatoes. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be two sweet potatoes and we have an onion and uh, we have our onion and our sweet potato. We're gonna run them through a cheese grater until we get this. And <laughs> what this is, is uh, our, our shredded sweet potato, our shredded onion. There's also some garlic and some jalapeno in here. We're just gonna let this hang out and dry. In the meantime, we're gonna start slicing some bread for our avocado toast. Yeah. And we're gonna start mashing some avocado and for our avocado toast because you can't have avocado toast without bread or avocado. I just learned that. What? Producer Taylor made this bread. Look at the f***ing squish and the crust. It smells good, smell that. He smelled it. Sam is going to have these avocados and then he will uh, scoop all the insides out and then we can start seasoning it. <laughs> Oven is preheating to 350 degrees. This is gonna serve two purposes. One, we are going to toast our planks. And two, we are uh, going to blister some tomatoes and get them nice and ooey gooey, unctuous, jammy whammy. We're gonna mush these up, smash them up. We don't want guacamole. I want, I want chunkier than guac, right? Guac's kind of smooth, but. How did this get here? We at least want it to. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for chunky guac? We're gonna put some toppings on top to top it, which will include these nice little radishes, some Ooh. cucumber. Mm. We've got our tomatoes that we're gonna blister. Jalapeno. Oh, certified spicy boy. Some queso fresco. And we have some lemon juice, really brighten everything up. And we'll top it with a poached egg, which is gonna run down your hand as you feast. It better, it. otherwise the B-roll is gonna look like shit and then we're gonna have to throw it away. We're gonna add some black pepper. Are you of the mindset that it's cardinal sin to apply salt from not your hand? It's oh. something I saw on TV recently. No, no, there are plenty of times where I just have the box and I'm like, I've, I've personally seen you do it, in. so I now I'm realizing I have no, some stupid questions. No, look, this lemon juice smells. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, this is about four ounces of lemon juice. We're gonna partially add it. We're not gonna go all in. To our tomato, I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. Put a little olive oil on it, and that's gonna go in the oven. Bread is in. Tomatoes are in. I'm gonna check Sam's work. Bright. Yes. Has the salt. Got the pepper. Mm-hmm. That is well seasoned avocado, my friend. I concur. We'll see you in a moment. Our planks are nice and toasty. We're going to get some button mushrooms going in a pan. Our buddy yeah. Chris is a good boy. He gifted us some beautiful cured ham. It's from Broadbent's. It is very salty and got some smoke to it. Yeah, I, I haven't actually even taken a whiff of this yet. Yeah. Because Chris is the man, we gotta honor the gift that he bestowed upon us by cooking these mushrooms down with this ham. We have some shallots and garlic, and the salt from the ham is going to season the mushrooms. And then, while this is going on, Sam is going to take our hash, which is now thoroughly dried, and he's going to add it to this bowl. When all the mushrooms are done cooking, <laughs> we're then going to cook the hash. Jesus. In all of the ham drip. <laughs> ah! So that's what's going on. Try to keep up. Try And then uh, Sam can start assembling our avocado toast. This pan is smoking hot. We go get it going, 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 going with some olive oil. Got our olive oil. Go on, go on again. <laughs> Why are you talking? Read your bread and mushroom. Here's sizzle. Bud mushroom and cast iron and go in your sizzle carver. Go in and cut your ham from brick and bread. <laughs> Can't have mushrooms without black pepper. Hash, go in. Put it in. Hash mark, oh hash, God, hash brown, hash going in. There's gonna be so much f***ing hash. Yeah, let's hit it with some cheese. Okay. Let's hit it with some cheese. Oh. Sam, this looks uh, quite good. Yep. <laughs> all right, so we have all this food. We have a giant plank of, of a pile of food. We might be biting off more than we can chew with this one old As one of my favorite sayings boy. goes, yeah. Well, here we go. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cheers you some beer. I'm gonna cheers you with some beer, and then I'm gonna figure this. And then it's every person for their <laughs> self. I feel like, again, this is like a cup of coffee with in beer form. So it it still rides on top of everything, but there's like that good malty sweetness from the beer because it is an imperial stout. And I feel like since the, the coffee lingers, it still cuts through well with the food. And so it's, I felt like I was drinking what I would assume as a non-coffee drinker is a cup of coffee during breakfast. And holy shit. Do you even feel the crust on the underside of your nose right now? No. So many vegetables. Yeah. That whole fucking thing was just vegetables. I know. And, and an Nico egg. knows I am hypersensitive to the amount of bad shit I put in my body. And I feel like uh, I'm gonna walk away smiling, whistling. This is a base layer. I would go tailgating. This is a base layer that I think I could drink a bottle of whiskey and be fine. Ooh. And I would be proven wrong because I don't drink whiskey well, but I would think I could. Well, Samuel, consider how full you are now, oh, I know. and then ask yourself how you would handle this with a big 
dump truck ass cakey pancake on top of it. With a pancake accordion? And Ooh. once I get all the yolk to migrate out of my mustache. Get it down the drain um, a little bit. Yeah. We can start on making the souffle pancakes, which I'm putting off because I've heard these these require a lot of practice and of as, much... as many things on this show, I've never done this before. <laughs> and this is the first time in a long time that I'm a little worried about how this is gonna turn out. Yeah. Souffle pancakes, I think. Got egg yolks. We have six eggs separated, yolks and whites. The thing that we are going to try to do is incorporate the yolks with oh, some milk and vanilla, and then we will beat the ever-living daylights out of these whites until they form stiff peaks. We will fold it together, we'll put it in a piping bag, and then we will make cakey boys over yonder. We have some cream and some vanilla. That's a beautiful little... That's a nice little uh, array. You got in there, yeah. We're gonna go in. Put it right in the middle of all that, yeah. We have a colander in which we will sift our flour. Have about 90 grams of flour. Yes, grams. You can go metric. We're just gonna make it snow. So right now we have a very loose, what would kind of be a, a pasta dough, honestly. It's eggs and flour. Uh, you usually don't put cream in a pasta dough. I don't really see any lumps. Now, the whites, when we separated the eggs, we put them in the freezer. We wanted them nice and cold. Yolks are here, whites are here, and we're just gonna start them. We want stiff peaks on these babies. Start a little slow, speed it up. We have some sugar. About 75 grams. We're gonna incorporate this about a third at a time. Have a little bit of cream of tartar, and that's also going to help stabilize our egg whites. I took a little bit of coconut oil, I put it in a non-stick pan. I'm gonna take a paper towel and dab off the excess. We don't want spots on our pancake but we want to make sure we have a decently oiled surface. Drop her down. That's a good sign right there. Holding it straight out. We're now going to fold third at a time or mixture into the egg yolks. So you're gonna go from the bottom and go over. You wanna crush all the air that you made. You just want it nice and incorporated. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but I can see a very subtle distinction between some of the unincorporated white and some of that yellow from the yolk mixture. So I'm gonna go just a little bit more, really try not to break up all of that fluffy air that we've developed with this very narrow tube. <laughs> Look at that. Are you gonna be drawing pictures of that or what? <laughs> Look, there are only so many tips in here. <laughs> all right, here you go. See what these cloud like pancakes are all about. Souffle. Oh, yeah. 
that, baby. Airy. Mm-hmm. Very airy. I like the lemon. The lemon was right. Matt, you're right. The lemon is an excellent, an excellent move. Mm. Makes it almost taste like a lemon bar. Put the lavender, I think, keeps it in check. I also think the amount of butter is appropriate. I'm glad you did. Actually, I think that's fine for mine too. I'm glad I let you have the big butter side. Mm -hmm. Ah, very airy. A little sweet, but I think we have bitter coffee beer. Balance it out. Even the coffee beer is semi sweet, but. Mm. Yeah, it's more bitter than what we got going on here. Mmm, yeah. That's just that's just oh. a nice little breakfast, isn't it? Oh, baby. <sighs> we hope you enjoyed this episode of Sober to Sauced. <laughs> Be sure to like, <laughs> subscribe, share this video with your friends. That that was the episode. We made we made breakfast definitely during the daytime, and we finished making eating breakfast definitely during the daytime. Hey, that just proves that breakfast is good any time of the day. I'm Nico. I'm not Nico. And uh, this has been sober sauce. Goodbye. <laughs>